people ask me a lot of times what I do, and you're like, I'm the rocket scientist. And they chuckle and you're like, well, yeah, well, actually, I am the rocket scientist. I live in about the year 2020, so in my job, I have to imagine how people of the future are going to live, what sort of vehicles they're going to want, what sort of functionality in those vehicles they're going to want. And then I've got to make sure that stuff works. We start from nothing, from nuts and bolts, and we build every little single piece out of somebody's imagination. We want the engineering team to be creative, to think outside what they would normally do. And some of the things that people come up with, you just think, how could that ever work? We've got a set of people who are very creative, very free thinking, and that's just what you need when you're trying to figure out the technologies of the future. Spacecraft are big, they're complex, they're expensive, they're really hard to do. We fly these things to space. Those are huge loads, those are huge, uh, nasty environment, lots of heat and all this stuff. And so it's really tough, it's durable. It it's solid, it's meant to take some abuse and do the job. People expect to be able to go and do things that they wouldn't ordinarily be able to do. Use it in ways that perhaps they wouldn't use any other vehicle. Functionality is right at the heart of what the vehicle needs to deliver. It's like a drug, you know, you get addicted to the fact that you can go, we've never done that before, let's do that, let's try something new. Land Rover is passionate and inspired by great machines. I think that's what engineers thrive on. Really, at the end of the day, a vehicle ends up being this synergistic, kind of magical embodiment of all the passions and the creativity and the ideas that come from these different engineers and designers. And if you decide to do something, and you get everything behind it, then you can achieve great things.